Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And follow along on Instagram and TikTok, at Launched by Liz, to keep up with all of my advice to make your work-life balance a little easier. If you're new here, I'm Liz. My mission is to empower women to launch their careers and live their best lives both inside and outside of the office. I'm sharing what I learned in my path to help others navigate their own careers along the way. Going to graduate school at MIT was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my career. Looking back, I'm happy to share that it really has opened so many doors for me and exposed me to new learning opportunities. I didn't always think it was possible for me to attend MIT or even get my master's degree at all. Let's start back at the very beginning. I remember sharing with a few close friends and family members that I dreamt of attending MIT for my master's. Some told me immediately that I was reaching, and I know a few hoped for the best, but honestly didn't think it was possible. Here's a story of how I was rejected and then received a full $72,000 scholarship to my master's at MIT. My journey to my master's at MIT began a year before I applied. I was in Boston visiting a friend when I scheduled a campus visit. I toured campus, sat in a lecture led by an executive from Burberry at the Sloan Business School, and became familiar with the admissions process. I was immediately sold. After going to Georgia Tech for my undergrad, I knew that I wanted to be in a school that emphasized technology and innovation for my master's degree as well. I loved the classes and the energy the campus buzzed with as students led entrepreneurial projects, learned from executives, and worked together. I decided to apply for an MBA, even though students typically had five to six years of work experience, and I only would have two. Over the year leading up to my application submission, I met with several mentors and shared my goal. I'm a big believer in learning from others and trusting my network. I gained feedback and advice to help me prepare my experiences. I knew I really needed to lead an exciting, impactful project at work so that I could stand out among the crowd of applicants. I also connected with students on campus through the women's group to learn about their experiences prior to MIT. I decided that I had to work hard and launch an innovative idea to align with MIT's mission and culture. At the time, I worked in operations as an entry-level analyst. I noticed that there were better ways to do reporting and proactively plan our operations. I taught myself data analytics to find a better way. When a new leader came in looking for ideas to enhance the business, I spoke up and offered my idea. My solution was welcomed and I transformed the way my entire department measured success. We automated the reporting based on my prototype to be proactive in reaching our goals. I received an early promotion to senior data analyst and won several department-wide awards along the way. With my strong work experience added to my resume, I was ready to apply for my MBA. I gave myself plenty of time to prepare a strong, organized application which included a video component. I recorded and submitted it the morning of my wedding rehearsal so that I would be in the first batch of applicants. I quickly received a rejection from the MIT MBA program. I was devastated and embarrassed. I debated telling anyone about my rejection, but I wanted to reach back out to my network. I felt like it was important to thank my mentors and give them an update. I went to share my news with my mentor who wrote my letter of recommendation. She told me not to give up and that she had just heard of a master's in supply chain management program at MIT. She recommended that I give it another shot. Even though I was embarrassed, I was encouraged by her belief in me, and I decided to try again. For the supply chain management master's application, I didn't have much time to prepare at all. I revised my application within a week to make the quick deadline. I stayed up late for a few nights recording different versions of my video. I ended up scratching my entire first video idea that I used for the MBA program. Instead, I shared a more authentic story of how I fought back against the expectations as a first-generation American and the first woman in my family to hopefully obtain my master's degree. I weave these details into my story from launching the first operations management student organization at Georgia Tech to redesigning data analytics for my department at work. It was uncomfortable to share a more personal perspective on my career and my goals, but I felt like it was important to put everything out into this application. This was my last shot of achieving my dream of graduating in MIT's class of 2020 with my master's degree. I had to give it my all. I was shocked when I got the email that I was accepted to MIT's Master in Supply Chain Management program and that I was a finalist for a scholarship too. I flew up to Boston to meet the faculty and staff. I was nervous and so excited to be in the same room as the most accomplished researchers in supply chain. 
I remember I started crying in disbelief when my name was announced as the recipient of the first Advancing Women Through Education awesome full tuition scholarship in history for MIT's class of 2020. Going to MIT changed my career and my perspective. Graduate school opened so many doors for me and I'm sharing my story to help others reach their goals as well. It's important to find the right master's program that you can add value to and that will also help you reach your long-term career goals. A master's degree is an investment in your education and your future career path. If you know getting a master's is what you're meant to do, persevere and continue to be open to the opportunities. Advice from a mentor could change your life too, so don't wait to embrace the power of a strong network. I hope that sharing my video helped you gain clarity and confidence in your career. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Visit my website, launchbyliz.com to learn more about graduate school application tips. Let me know if this was helpful by dropping your comments and questions below. Thank you.